Uh, this mudra really helps with aiding concentration. So I want you to lengthen up through the body and close the eyes for a moment and bring your attention to your breath. So we're gonna breathe in through the nose and breathe out through the nose or the mouth. And we'll take a couple of breaths to quieten the mind, to focus on how we feel. As always, we ask ourselves the question, how do I feel today? And we acknowledge how we feel physically, how we feel mentally, and how we feel emotionally. Start to breathe in for a count of three. Hold for a count of three. Breathe out for a count of three. And hold for a count of three. And I want you to stay with that boxed breathing, feeling each corner of the breath, feeling the in-breath. As you hold, feel the air in the lungs, really filling up through the ribcage, the back of the ribs and the side of the ribs. Feel the out-breath. And then again, feel the hold where you've exhaled the air through the body. As always, you have permission right now to forget about everything else. Forgetting about everything that you've had to do so far today. Everything that you've got to do for the rest of the day. And just focus for the next 40 minutes on you. Your body, your breath. And remember that we never compare ourselves. This class is not here for a competition. It's here to feel better. To move better. To create space in our mind and in our body where maybe there once wasn't. So when it feels right for you, I want you to bring your breath into a more traditional yoga breath. In through the nose and out through the nose. And then slowly move the head over to the right shoulder. Roll the head down and around. Over to the left shoulder. So I'm going to let us get this body warm first without taking any intervals. Let's release the neck. Only when you're ready, the head comes down, chin on the chest and then look to the ceiling. Feel stretch the release in the back of the neck and then the front of the neck. Gently open the mouth if that feels good for you. As you bring your head down, relax your hands and curl your spine. Straighten the spine as you lengthen, bringing the shoulders away from the ears. Moving slowly for you. Circling around on your axis. Moving through your back. Being aware of how that feels going in both directions. 
Maybe if one direction feels better for you, you stay with it. And then the right hand comes down, the left hand over. Change sides. Anchor your hip bones down to the floor. Be aware of how that feels as you move. Hands back behind us, lift the chest. Breathe here, just a little bit deeper. Squeeze the shoulder blades together. Open up that chest and space. Well done, we lengthen out the legs. We inhale, rise. We exhale and we fold. Inhale, rise to the back. Shoulders away from the ears, exhale and fold. Again, inhale, lift, and exhale, release. Bringing the right leg in and circle out through the ankle, going round in both directions. Bringing the foot on the inside of the thigh into seated tree. Inhale, rise, exhale, over. As always here, if you want to, you can lift and lower when it feels good for you or you can just stay in the posture use your peace fingers around the toe if that's good for you and lengthen out through the back of the body opening up through the lower back the back of the leg feel that release the soles of your feet are going to go together in butterfly we open up the pelvis here exhale and come down low Shifting the body weight forward and be aware of how that feels. And then inhale, rise. Exhale and we fold. Left leg comes into us, circle around the ankle. Loosen up both directions and place the foot on the inside of the thigh. Inhale, rise. Exhale and fold over. Again, if you want to lift and lower and stay there as you're moving through those two positions, you can. Again, you can use your peace fingers around the toe, lengthen out the back of the leg, let that head come down low and feel that release for you. Use the breath. Slowly, you're going to bring yourself round onto all fours. Hands on shoulders, knees under hips. Inhale your belly to the ceiling. And exhale your belly to the floor. Look to the ceiling. So let's start to work through cat to cow. We release the back and take our time here. So I'm going to start to take you through into our first interval. Let that back release. When you're ready, ladies, meet me back in down face dog. So we're going to take our warm-up sequence. We've got one minute here. Down face dog, into high plank. Now drop the knees if you need to. Lower down into baby cobra or full cobra. And sink to return when you will. Coming back and through into down face dog. You move when you want to. Coming forward into our high plank. Lowering down into your level of cobra that feels right for you. Sinking to return. Walking the fingers along the floor. Inhale, exhale and we rise. Moving when you wish. Stay back in child's pose here. Extended child's pose to release. Good work. Okay, so we're going to let that body get a little bit warmer. We're going to take down face dog into three leg dog, alternating, and you've got a minute there. So I'm going to turn my toes under. Lift my hips up, down face dog. 
I will lift up into three leg dog and then come back to down face dog. Then change sides. So take a leg, lift it up. You come back to down face dog when you need to. You lift up on the other side into three leg dog when that feels good for you. Coming back into down face dog, press the weight back. Now use the breath. Inhale to prepare. Exhale as you move. Take the weight out of the hands. Opening up through into the back of the body. Use that breath. Be aware of how that feels. Just make sure you've done even amounts on both sides. Feel free to push back into your child's pose to release through your wrists. So our next interval, we are going to come through on the right side. We're going to come into lizard and into our twist. So take your right leg, lift it up high to the sky. Right leg, big step forward and through into lizard. Drop the back knee if you need to. So our first posture is lizard. And our second posture is twist. So we can stay in lizard pose for as long as we want. Allow the foot to connect to the floor. The other hand is supported. We can come into twist whenever that feels good for us. Some of us might prefer to have the knee down in lizard and twist. Inhale, exhale, open as far as you want. Feel that opening up through the chest. Use the breath. There's no rush. Well done. Good work. Breathing here. You're coming out of it. The hand comes down. Foot comes back into three leg dog. We come into down face dog. Child's pose if you need to here, ladies. Otherwise, you are going to lift up your left leg. And then the left leg is going to come forward into our lizard pose. So let's bring the hand onto the back whenever you're ready. Our lizard pose. Remember, you can drop the knee when you wish. You're going to work through lizards and twist. The beauty about fitness yoga is you can move at your speed. You can stay in the postures for as long as you want. You can come out and come into another posture when that feels good for you. We can adjust the body by dropping the back knee if you need to so that you can work through these two positions that feel better for you today. Take your time. There's absolutely no rush. Doing really well. Bring the hand back, the foot back. Coming into down face dog when that feels good for you. Now step your feet to your hands. Exhale, nose to knee. Take the feet back into down face dog. Lift your right leg up. Bring it through and forward. Partial block on the back foot. I'm coming into warrior two. So from here... I'm going to come forward into side axle, open out the side of the body, breath, and then exhale into reverse warrior when that feels good for you. Inhale, exhale, come through, open up that side body, 
and then release. Jace, I think he's been waiting to go for a W. Yeah, I'm Open up through the side of the body. Inhale, exhale. Using that breath and being aware of how that feels as you move. We're keeping the abdominals strong. We're not going to lose that connection. As we move through these two postures, side axle, reverse warrior. We'll cartwheel the arms to come through and forward. We'll take the back, that front foot, back into down face dog. We lift up through our left leg, and our left leg is going to come forward. Partial block on our back foot. We rise high and come into warrior two. So exactly the same on this side. Our side axle into our reverse warrior. So they stay nice and strong. Use the breath. Inhale, exhale. Now if I'm moving through the two postures too quick for you, by all means, take it slower. You don't have to move when I move. And that's the beauty about working in an interval, is that we can stay into the postures for as long as you want. You're bending through the front leg as you come into side axle. And then that back hand is going to lengthen down the back of the leg as I come into my reverse warrior. Opening out through the side of the body and then opening up through the front body. Abdominal stay strong. You'll cartwheel the arms to come forward and your front leg will come back. Down face dog, let's lengthen out the back of the legs. Well done, step the feet to the hands, exhale, lift up. From here, take your right leg, lift up. Inhale, exhale, you'll come through and lift that back leg. Tilting forward, T pose. And then bringing the knee through and our hands come down standing mountain pose when that feels good for you. So you'll come forward into T pose whenever you're ready. The back leg can lift as high as you wish. And then your knee will come up, hands will come round into this standing balance. If you need to put your foot down at any time, you absolutely do it. You are working that front leg really strong. And of course, we are working our bellies. No. How's it feeling on this side? So we might have better balance from one side to the other. That's quite normal. Well done, feet down, give them a little bit of a release. Press through, good work. So you're gonna do that on the other side. See how that feels for you as you're moving. Take a moment to really relax the legs. When it feels good for you, lifting up on the other side. So we'll bring those hands down, the knee comes forward. We're gonna extend the arms forward and the leg will come back into our team pose. Squeeze the muscles in the bottom, and then whenever it feels good for you, you'll come forward with your knee, and you'll bring your arms down, standing mountain pose, but with a knee lift. Forward again into T pose whenever you want to, squeezing the muscles into the bottom. Inhale, exhale, and rise whenever you're ready. Pulling those arms down. Inhale, exhale, press. Be aware of how that feels for you. Take your time, there's no rush. Inhale, exhale. 
Squeeze the muscles in the bottom on the back leg. Jace, maybe wait for me later. Good work. Pedal through the feet. Loosen up. Well done. Good work. Really, really nice. Let those feet relax and release. We're going to inhale, rise. Exhale, forward fold. Coming into table fold. Now, step your feet back. High plank position. Draw that waist in. Take your right leg, lift it up high to the sky. Right leg, big fork. Step forward and through. Partial block on your back foot. You're coming into warrior. From warrior, we open out to warrior two. Inhale, exhale, coming back to warrior. Pressing through, opening up through the front body. Staying in our warrior as long as we need to. When we need to come out of that posture, we're coming into warrior two. We lunge further forward, just a little bit further there. Inhale, exhale, we rise. Use the breath. Inhale, exhale, open. Good work. Bending through the front leg. Back leg is straight. You've got a partial block on your back foot. And the feet are wide, as wide as you wish. Four, three, Cartwheel the arms to come forward. Take your front foot back, down foot still. Left leg rise. Left leg, big step forward and through. Partial block our back foot. Come high. Into warrior. Remember you're going to stay in warrior for as long as you need to. Come into warrior two when that feels right for you. To get the position where you're comfortable, inhale. Exhale, let some hold here. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, exhale. Use the breath. Exhale into the moves. Inhale as you prepare, as you're going into the next one. So we inhale to prepare, we exhale to hold. We inhale to prepare, and we exhale to hold. away when it feels good for you. Squeeze the muscles in the bottom, lengthen up through the neck and spine. So we're not alternating, we're staying on this side. I want to activate through the back, squeeze the muscles in the bottom, the lower back there. Inhale, exhale. Stretch there as much as you need to. 
Be aware of how that feels. Maybe come into thread like a needle if that feels better for you. Coming on to the other side. Again, hands under shoulders. Knees under hips. We're going to extend that arm and leg away. And then we'll draw in and we'll press away. So inhale, exhale. Use the breath, squeeze the muscles in the bottom, even distribution of the weight in the hand and the knee. Thread like a needle if you need to, your lower back and your bottom is working there. Well done. So I'm going to bring you round. We're going to take a bandra here to come down into the floor. Lots of options here, relax the head and neck, legs up. Option one, tabletop tap down. Feel free to do just one leg and have one foot on the floor if you need to. The further you tap away, the harder you work, so you choose. The arms are going to come lovely and long and we're going to move opposite arm to leg above the head. If you don't want to do the arms, you don't have to. You can keep the arms wide like a scarecrow and stay there. Now pull in from hip to hip. Choice is yours as you do this bandra. Making the abdominals work. Exhale it away. Abdominal muscles are really strong, holding in from hip to hip, but not holding the breath. Again, you can pick the tempo to suit you. Release, come into happy baby. Opening up through the hips, up through the back. Let that release there for you. Good work. Okay, our second bandra that we're going to work through. We're going to take our legs again, tabletop tap down, release the arms. We're going to take a single leg stretch, or we can take a double leg stretch. We choose. So we're going to push. The arms can relax, they can go wide or by your side. Again, if you want to keep one foot on the floor, you can, or you can do double leg. Depends on how hard you want to work today. I want to keep that back strong. If you are taking the double leg, there's no change in your back. We're not going to let that back hyper extend any way, shape or form. Breathe it away. If you know you're holding tension in the chest, take the arms wide, palms to the ceiling. Again, you're choosing the tempo. We have got one more interval today after this. Come into happy baby. Okay, so our last interval is going to be hip bridge. We can do it with our feet staying on the floor and just lifting up. And you're going to hold up for the whole minute. Or stay up and then extend one leg up to the ceiling. You can stay there for halfway and then change sides when that feels good for you. Or on the halfway point. Yeah, you choose. Feel free to take the hands underneath the bottom, tuck the shoulders under. So option one, stay here. 
Option two, extend one leg up. Pushing those hip bones up to the ceiling. You're going to squeeze the muscles in the bottom and the back of the legs. If you don't want to do the leg lift, you're just here, opening up and allowing that front body to release. Promoting the blood flow towards the brain. Keep squeezing the muscles in the bottom and the back of the thighs. If you're doing your leg lift, change your legs now. So we've got that strong leg lift. Flexing the foot and the sole of the foot goes to the ceiling. Drive the hip bones up a little higher. Using the breath, really well done. So again, if the leg lift is no good, you're staying just in your hip ridge. Maybe you can move a bit further now. And release, well done. Come into happy baby. Take a moment to breathe and relax there. Well done, good work, really, really good. So essentially you've just done about 30 minutes solid of intervals. Um, with your warm up on top of that and then just a little bit of a release now is perfect, 40 minutes, really good. So I want you to lay in Savasana here or maybe have your feet in butterfly. Relax the body and come back to your breath. Allow your body to rest into the floor. We ask ourselves that same question that we did earlier. How do I feel today? We acknowledge how we feel physically, how we feel mentally, and how we feel emotionally. Let your breath settle. As you lay here, we take a moment to listen to today's mantra. As always, if it feels right for you, place one hand to the heart, or just let the words sink into your soul. Always be the best person that you can be. Be kind even when you're tired. Be understanding even when you're angry. Do more than you ask. And don't ask for anything in return. Don't silently expect anything either. Listen when someone talks. And really listen too. Stop just thinking of how you will reply. Tell people that you love them. And that you appreciate them. Go out of your way to do the things for people. Be the greatest person that you can possibly be. And when you mess up, make up for it in the next moment or minute or day. One thing you should never do, never spend your time trying to prove to anybody that you're great. Your actions will speak for themselves. We only have a limited time on this earth, so don't waste it. If someone doesn't like your light, don't worry. Like moths, good people were attracted to the flame, to the light, and they will come.
take your breath and invite back the energy you've given away over this last week. Let it come into your hands and your feet, your fingers and your toes. Take a moment now to stretch however you wish to stretch. Have a little bit of personal stretch time for you. And only when that feels right for you, you're going to come back to sitting. Take it slow. Whenever you're ready, place one hand to the heart or maybe your hands in prayer pose. And just take a moment of gratitude that you were able to come to practice today. That you did this for you. And you understand the importance of that doing something for your body, something for your mind, and something for your soul. We take a breath, inhale, exhale, and forward fold. Let's meet back in down face dog. We walk the hands back to the feet. Inhale, as you exhale, we roll. Vertebrae, vertebrae. Bring in the head and the neck up last. Roll the shoulders back. Take a breath. As you exhale down to your heart centre, we feel this sense of strength that you've just created. Let it resonate out to the rest of the body and lock it into your heart centre. Take another breath. As you exhale down, feel the sense of peace, of calm. And keep that for as long as possible. And again, lock it into your heart centre. And one more time, inhale. And as you exhale, bring the hands down to the third eye to always see with clarity to the mouth to always speak with truth and the heart to always love with compassion. Take your right arm up of your head and your left. Your right hand forward and your left. Your right palm in and your left. Give yourselves and each other.